Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. No, I'm not comparing Mark Zuckerberg to the local dope dealer you purchased your crack cocaine from, but I'm glad I got your attention because I got a great video for you. I would never argue that Facebook is as bad for you as drugs, but you can compare Facebook to drugs in some sense. Facebook is expensive, just like drugs. It is addictive, just like drugs. And it could end up killing you, just like drugs. And I will get into all of that in this video. But before I do that, I will start by making this bold statement. Facebook is not even real. Repeat after me. Facebook is not even real. It is just a game, and in fact it is the world's biggest online multiplayer role-playing game, and the purpose of this game is to collect likes, gain friends, and create interesting stories about yourselves to reach a higher level. Think about that for a second, I'm sure you'll see some truth in that statement. And meanwhile, if you could be so kind to hit that subscribe button, I really would appreciate it. Thank you. Anyways, back to Facebook. Like most drugs, Facebook can be addictive, and it is designed to be addictive, so I guess we could call it a designer drug. And the reason why Facebook is designed that way is that it is a business. Yes, money is the motive. The more time you spend on this platform, the more ads you see, and the more ads you see, the more money Facebook makes, so they want you to spend as much time here as possible. Have you heard about Facebook Pixel? Facebook gathers data from every single web page you go to, so they got a pretty good idea of the things you're interested in, just like Google, by the way. Yes, Mark Zuckerberg is stalking you, and here's how he gets you addicted. Dopamine. You know, the chemical that gives you happiness. Studies show that liking posting and sharing gives you that daily shot of dopamine. This means you will get the same kick you get when you drink alcohol, smoke blunts, or have sex, and that is the problem with Facebook today. In the beginning, Facebook was about keeping in touch with friends and family, but somewhere along the way it turned into some weird kind of smash that like button for a daily dose of dopamine game. And there's no reason in denying this. We have all played this stupid game, whether we want to admit or not, and it gives us a false sense of accomplishment and an urge for more and more dopamine, and that's how we get addicted. But I'm not even sure if this is the worst part, because I've really got to get into the costs here. You probably think Facebook is free to use, but actually Facebook is expensive as fuck. You just don't know it. Yes, Facebook comes with a price, and when you get older, you will realize that. But right now, you probably wouldn't give a fuck because you think you've got all the time in the world. But let me tell you this. Facebook might not be stealing your money, but it is stealing something far more valuable than money. And that is your time. And we don't think about time as something valuable compared to money. But go check out this other video I made about time and the importance of time. We are wasting time like it was worthless crap, but you can always make an extra dollar, but not an extra hour, you know? Anyways, did you know that the average American is spending about two hours each and every day on social media, and that number is just getting higher? Isn't that sick? And I'm sure you all know about that. Think about the times you've been scrolling up and down the phone of yours, wasting time on worthless shit, time you could have spent so much better. But you're just getting sucked into it, like a fucking comfort zone, and it is easy to visit your friends from the couch. Why leave your house, right? So instead of doing things that are good for you, like exercising, reading books, or just spending time with your family, you are wasting your time on Facebook. And this is what will happen. When you reach 80 or 90, you will look back on your life and ask yourself, what the fuck happened to all my time? I'm 90 years old now, why didn't I get more out of my life? And let me tell you why. Yes, that's right. You spent most of your life playing fake book, so basically you wasted big parts of your life. And that is where wise people stop up and think, is this right? And dickheads do it when they hit 90 or are about to die. And speaking of death, elegantly brings me to my last point that Facebook will kill you. And I will admit, I'm taking it to the limit here, but being on Facebook can cause depression and anxiety and give you low self-esteem. And yes, people actually kill themselves because of that. There are numerous examples, especially with young people getting low self-esteem that they get suicidal. And no, I'm not holding Facebook responsible, but we got a big problem here. Have you ever wondered why all of your friends have exciting lives when your life is sucky as fuck? Well, that's because they don't. But their lives look exciting because they are so good at posting the interesting stuff, which, by the way, is 1 or 2% of what is really going on in their lives. 
Your friends can be just as depressed and miserable like you, but you won't see this shit on their Facebook page because they got their hands full covering this shit up. And if you can't see through this, you will end up with low self-esteem, depression, and anxiety. You will compare your life to their lives, but it is only a very small fraction of their lives you can see, and there are even studies that show people are lying on Facebook, so it really is unfair competition. You get to see 2% of their lives, and they could even be lying about the 2%, and you know how you feel 24-7, so what's the fucking point in comparing anyways? And I could go on about this forever, but my time is up, so I will make another video for you about this, so don't forget to subscribe. But before I go, I have to ask you a small favor. Could you share this video on Facebook? Yes, yes, I know, you're still on Facebook because you have friends all around the world and Facebook is the best way to keep in touch. No, I know you never played the smash that like button for a daily dose of dopamine game. You're better than that, but if you would be so kind, please share my video. Um, anyways, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Peace. Hey guys, hope you guys liked that video. If you did, go check out my mate David's channel. Get the picture. I'm going to put a link in the description, in the bio. His channel is actually really good. I know a lot of you guys like my anime videos. He actually has a bunch of them on his channel. And I've been subscribed to him for a while. And he's been commenting on my videos for a while. And we've just been vibing. So go show him some love and tell him that the Realized Man sent you. Peace.